babes welcome back to my channel i know today's video setup is different than usual and that's just because it's literally um 1 36 in the morning and i wanted to get this video up for you guys i'm actually editing the video that was supposed to go up today which i guess is technically going up on the third and then this video is going to go up later on the third so it's still technically like a video for each day because i told you guys i was going to be doing mayhem which is like uh, a video every day of may um so excuse this little setup this video is not going to be super long but it's going to be a strange thing that happened to me you guys the weirdness just doesn't stop um it just doesn't <laughs> I can't make this crap up like I don't know what's happening to me um, if the video that's going to go up today but you guys will have already seen it because it's going up before this video I talk about how I'm doing a paranormal experiment where I'm trying to bring ghosts into my life go watch that video if you guys haven't already because I go into more detail on that one Basically, if you guys don't know, I've been struggling, I guess, with the Mandela effect. I've been having weird stuff happen to me. And yesterday, something happened to me that was so freaking weird. Like, I do not know how to explain what happened to me. I originally, today, was going to put up a video about spirit houses and stuff. So that video is probably going to be going up after this one. Um, because I still need to do some more research on that. Um, so that's more of like a paranormal video, but I want to know if you guys have ever had a weird thing happen to you like this and can explain to me what happened to me because I have absolutely no freaking idea what happened to me. I feel like I'm in, I don't know, it's something every day you guys and I talk in my video from yesterday about like how... I feel like this stuff is drawn to me and I feel like there's a reason for that and that I'm like meant for it, which whatever. Um, okay, anyway, I didn't want this video to be super short, so that's why I'm kind of rambling. But yesterday, I went to McDonald's to get a salad. My favorite, like one of my favorite meals when like I can't cook at home is the bacon ranch salad with grilled chicken from McDonald's. I eat that all the time. Um, you guys might not know this, but I... I've been eating way healthier, been like losing weight, and it's just this great thing. Um, so I always go to McDonald's and get that, and Sam and I were going to go see Infinite War, the Avengers movie, um, yesterday night, but before that I thought I would go eat, um, or get myself a salad before the movie so that I wasn't super hungry, um, and eat all the popcorn or anything. So I drive to McDonald's, I get my salad, and I'm driving back home. And I live in a trailer, um, and when you turn down my street, all the trailers are on the right-hand side. So there's like a row of like, probably like 10 of them. And I pulled into my street. So I guess the way that it works is that if you're on the main highway, you turn down the main road, and then on that road, there's like two or three turnoffs. So I'm the last turnoff on the right, and then when you turn down that road, there is all the trailers on the right-hand side. So I pull down my street, the last one on the right, and I'm driving to my house. And you guys know like when you live somewhere for a while and you drive there every day like from from work or whatever, you know that like you, your mind like knows where to take you. Have you guys ever like zoned out while you're driving and then you're home and you're like, how did that happen? Have you guys ever done that? Well, basically I was driving and I was ready to turn into my street or into my driveway and I look over and it's not my house. And I'm like, what? And then I start panicking. I'm like, where where am I, you know? So I look back because I'm like, well, maybe I went too far. I look back and there's like, I see my neighbor's house, but I don't see my house. Like I see like the house that's next to us, but I don't see my house. 
this sounds so freaking crazy, but I don't know how, to, how else to explain it. Like, it's like my house wasn't there. It's the craziest thing. Like, and I was so freaked out that I, I looked over to my left and if you like a few houses down from mine if you turn left it takes you like through the alley that cuts over into the first like street that you would take and then you can cut back around onto that main road and turn back around to my where my house is i guess it's like so highway is right here you pull onto the main road and then on this road there's this turn and then my turn so you can like cut around in like a square to go back to my street so like in a panic i'm like oh my gosh i need to like go back around it was the strangest thing like i don't know if i was just exhausted or what but it was like my house wasn't there it was like some sort of a weird like you guys i feel like i was like in... i'm like laughing right now because i'm trying to like make the situation a little bit funnier than it was because it was honestly terrifying like my heart was like pounding my chest and so I pull back around and I'm like am I even like on the right street because I honestly thought that I had turned down the wrong like street and I thought I had pulled down that first street but I was like there's no way because if I'm cutting back around like this then I'm on the right road you know and so I pull back around and I pull up and my house is there like normal like I honestly felt like I was gonna pull back around and my house was gonna be gone like all of these thoughts were like racing through my mind and I wish that I would have like stayed and maybe looked a little bit harder but I was just so like scared that I was afraid to look because I just felt like what if my house isn't there like what if in this world I don't live here like you guys, the Mandela effect is making me crazy. Either it's making me crazy or it's it's legit. And I went through like some sort of like glitch in in the timeline, and I switched dimensions for a second. Like I sound insane right now, but let me know what you guys think. Basically, the moral of the story is that I drove down my street and like my house wasn't there. And then I pulled back around and it was like perfectly normal. I just, I don't know. It, it makes you think like that you're crazy. It makes you feel like you're crazy. Like with the headlight thing in my other video I was talking about, like I never do that. And like the fact that it was even on in the first place, like when I brought the groceries in is like so unlike me. Like if I did leave it on, which I admit in the first story that I think I did leave on the head I mean obviously I left it on I was like oh crap I left it on and I asked my boyfriend to go turn it off but like I didn't mention in that story that like I don't ever leave my headlights on like I've made it a habit to turn them off so let me know what you guys think I'm sorry this video was a little bit more laid back more chill I'm like filming on my desk right now but I kind of like this just like talking you guys in like a less I don't know proper way so yeah, let me know what you guys think as far as what happened to me. Do you guys think I'm just tired and like my mind was just like somewhere else? And I mean, it was it was dark um, by the time that I got home. So I don't know if maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me, but I'm just like shook <laughs> as always. That's like my new catchphrase. But I just like, what if I made merch that said that? Like, I know everyone says that, but like... Are you actually shook because the Mandela effect is making me pretty shook so let me know what you guys think I'm sorry if I'm talking different it's literally now it's 1 50 in the morning so it's pretty late but I, won't, I needed to film something for you guys and I know I wanted to tell you guys this insane story so yeah subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already if this is the first video that you're watching of me go watch my other ones they're much more better <laughs> quality um and yeah subscribe to keep track of the craziness because i don't think that this is the end of it honestly so yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.